step four is then to create the pneumatic mechanism and to attach it to the hinge. So first of all, we just need to create the pneumatic system and we're going to create that with two syringes and a piece of tubing. So that's what you need for this step. The first thing to do, and it's quite important you get this right, but it'll be very obvious to you if you haven't. We're going to, at any one time, there'll only be this much air plus what's in the tube in the system. So you want one syringe that's full of air, so you've opened it and it's full of air, and the other syringe that's got no air in it. And you then attach the tubing right up, make it nice and secure, we don't want any leaks here. And then you better check it works. So what should happen is, as I depress this plunger, I'm pushing this air through the tube and it's got to go somewhere. The air can't just disappear. It feels like there's nothing in the air, but it's not a vacuum. There is actually air and it has to go somewhere. So it comes around the pipe and fills up this. And this is how we use pneumatics to create a motion. We provide the energy here, in this part of the system, and it creates a movement somewhere else in the system. And this is how a lot of things in cars, in particularly in heavy machinery like cranes, diggers, building, material, building machinery, this is how they're powered. You can often hear it if you're on a coach, the braking system is pneumatic and you can often hear the air hissing as they brake. So that's our pneumatic system. So first off, create that and make sure it works. The next job is then to attach it to our machine so we can power our machine. For this you'll need your bit of pipe cleaner that you had left over from before and your masking tape. First things first, it doesn't particularly matter which syringe goes where, we're going to, I'll use the open end, that'll be easier. Attach your pipe cleaner nice and securely around the top of the plunger. Get it nice and tight so it's not going to slide down. It shouldn't slide down because it's wider. Yep, that's really good. Open up your hinge, I'll try and do it sideways, and we're going to attach this at about, depending, you, well you can have a play and slide it up and down. You'll get more motion the further you attach it towards the hinge, okay? And the further away, the less motion you get. You can have a think about that and a play with that. So I'm going to attach mine about here, nice and securely. I think what I'll do is wrap it around a few times, like that. And then the other part of the syringe, now the trouble is, you see, yes, I've got a problem here, because I'm going to attach the other part here. But at my machine, if I do it like that, my machine's not going to stand up. So I need to just slide it. I've made it so tight, I can't. But let's see what I can do. I'll slide it along a bit here, and that should give me the leverage, yep, that I can do that. Let's just check if it's going to work. I'm going to do a quick test now. So if I now pull this syringe out, Yep, it goes down, and if I push this syringe, it goes up. So before you secure it all with tape and make it all secure, just, it's a little bit difficult, you can see I'm using about four hands, but you'll have other people around you who can help. I'm just going to slide that a little bit further, it's just still a little bit tight, I think. Let's see if I can just persuade that to go a little bit further along. I don't get quite as much motion from the arm but it will mean, there we go, is that fully down? It's not bad, if I show you side on you can see. Okay. You'll see my hinge has gone wonky. And one of the ways we can sort that is to put some tape over here. So I'll do that in a second as well. So I'm going to take some tape and where I'm going to secure this down here is I'm going to secure it right here where the tube goes into the syringe. And this is obviously something that gets moved. There's, there's movement in here. So I'm going to put quite a bit of tape on there, she says, going a bit crazy, to keep it really secure. Press it all down, all around, like we did before. Let's give this a whirl. So obviously now, she says, having done that, it won't stand up quite right because of the tube holding it out. But I can have a fiddle with that later. For the moment, let's just check if it actually works. 
hinge down, hinge up. And actually look, it's not too, I don't think I need to worry too much about straightening it. I might play with that a bit later, putting some tape on there, but I think for the minute that looks good. Maybe if I put it lying on its side, you can perhaps see the movement better. going out of shot but my hinge is working and my pneumatics you can see what I'm doing here not got enough space there we go up and down okay so I have created the pneumatics system what I could do I'm just wondering if I can just do that a little bit and then my tube will sit flat a bit more yeah that's better I'm going to put some more um feet on it actually so it doesn't matter too much as long as it's relatively secure we can do that okay so that's the next step we've attached the pneumatic mechanism